What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video we have yet again very big news for the iOS 12.x jailbreaking. Yet another exploit is going to be released and this one is not just teased or something or demoed, it will be released. So just a few hours ago this account in here posted quote, successful exploit again, 360 security gained full access to iPhone 10 through a type confusion GIT bug, GIT stands for just in time compilation which is a thing on browsers and UAF bug in iOS kernel. UAF stands for Youth After Free and it's a type of vulnerability. Uh, it's the first iPhone jailbreak record in Pound Contest in the world, winning the highest award for Tianfu or Tianfu Cup. Sorry my bad. Now, Sorry My Bad is a security researcher and this is his account in here and he's been involved in the past in iOS bugs and he pretty much advertises himself as part of the 360 Vulkan team and he pounds browsers and iOS and macOS kernels. He's been an attendant and a winner at Pound to Own competitions, so definitely a skilled guy. And if you remember back in June 22 he posted this in here which was quote iOS 12.0 beta remote jailbreak demo at Mosec 2018. Mosec is a mobile security conference and uh, he said quote thanks to help of Pangu team and Morpheus. Now he is definitely involved in jailbreaking and as you can see he is definitely skilled but he posted just a few hours ago after Tianfu made their post in here he said quote will be released information after fix if you want a research iPhone state 12.1. Now I understand his English is a little bit broken but as long as I understand what he says it's definitely good. So he pretty much says that he will release the information about the exploit or the exploit itself after it's being patched. So this means that he's going to go through the path of responsible disclosure which is usually used by security researchers like EM Beer and so on. So he will report the vulnerability to Apple, Apple will fix it and once a fix is available probably by the next iOS version, which is probably going to be iOS 12.1.1, then he is going to release publicly the um, the exploit and he says you should stay on 12.1. However, I think his vulnerability may work on 12.0.1 and 12 as well and it might as well work on even lower versions but he did not mention any of that. I'm going to ask him what he thinks about it and whether the vulnerability works on 12.0.1 and lower but for the moment he said stay on 12.1. Now I wouldn't update right now to 12.1 because iOS 12.1 will stay signed for a longer time. iOS 12.0.1 however may stop being signed at any moment. Now if you remember I made a video yesterday about another jailbreak exploit by Yumang who is a Electro team member and he actually found the bug that was used in the um, root of S3 mount on the Electra jailbreak back in summer. So another skilled person. Now if you remember that one worked with 12.1, 12.0.1, 12 because 12 and 12.0.1 are pretty much the same thing in terms of security and that was a very interesting one as well but he didn't say anything about releasing it, in fact he said that he doesn't know if he's going to release it or not. Remember I told you that I talked with Humang back in the summer and he told me he would release his exploit, however he might have changed his mind in meantime. Anyways, sorry my bad seems to be very okay with releasing his information about his bug, so we will get a powerful jailbreak exploit for iOS 12.1. Now this is actually important, if you take a look on Tianfu Cup's tweet in here, they say quote, full access to iPhone through a type confusion and a UAF bug in iOS kernel, which led to the first iPhone jailbreak record in the pawn contest, in their contest in here, because the Tianfu Cup is pretty much a hacking contest where you pretty much have to hack and probably the best hacker or the best hacked target uh, gets to, to be rewarded. I don't know how it works. But anyways, it says in here successful exploit again, gain full access to the iPhone 10, which means that this is a very very good iPhone jailbreak exploit. It's not a small uh, proof of concept exploit that would do a crash or something like that. This one can be used for jailbreaking and I cannot stress this enough. This is actually very important because we had many exploit releases in the past weeks but not all of them were useful for jailbreaking or immediately useful for jailbreaking. Some of them would require you to build an exploit around that bug that has been released which 
Not everybody has that skill and those who do usually don't care about the jailbreak community or about giving you a jailbreak for the 12.x. They're usually working on security companies and their time is actually very limited. So to have a jailbreak exploit that is actually ready for being used in a jailbreak in post exploitation from sorry my bad would definitely be a very good thing for the jailbreak community. In fact this might be the biggest news for jailbreaking on iOS 12.1 because he will definitely release it's not some teasing or something like that. His exploits are usable in post exploitation for a jailbreak so you don't need to construct some mumbo jumbo exploit around the bug and also he is a known security researcher who did in fact jailbreak iOS 12.0 back when it was in beta and he did that remotely so he definitely has the skill it's no doubt about that. So yeah this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching subscribe to this channel to stay updated we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. At this point I can say that with so many exploits a jailbreak is definitely possible in the future. You just have to be patient these things do not appear out of the blue somebody has to make them and of course in order to make them these exploits have to be released least because as I said these exploits are very very expensive and to have them released for free is pretty much a godsend. So we should definitely be thankful that these people do release these bugs for free for the jailbreak community to use. Thank you for watching I'm Geosnow and till the next time peace out.